Amius the Lunar Archon is still a pain in the butt, but I'm finding other ways to do this to make it a little bit more accessible, a little bit more free to play friendly, a little bit more variations that can do this boss. This time, we're gonna take Nishak Vermin Lord out of the team. We're gonna bring in a superstar for this boss, Delaja. <laughs> Welcome on the Deadwood Jedi. Thanks so much for coming in. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. And we're going to bring in, like I said at the top, Delaja to the party and take a look at what she can't do against Amius the Vermin Lord. And why are we bringing in Delaja? Well, she kind of has a perfect hit, to be honest with you guys. We look at her skills A1, poisons. Love poisons. A2, decrease attack. And even the A3 has some healing, continuous healing and shield. All of that is actually really, really helpful for us. And the passive free counterattack. So we're going to actually get a fair amount of poisons from Delaja. So who are we replacing? Well, who are we replacing? Nishak Vermin Lord, kind of a perfect combo nation because Nishak also does decrease defense or decrease attack, also does poisons. And we're getting those same exact things here from Delaja. So kind of a perfect blend of champions right so you can really substitute one for the other if you're wondering what everybody is like how they're equipped how they're geared out and stuff like that you can go see my other video because i mean i i already showed that right i already showed four out of the five champions i didn't change a thing on them the only one i'm changing is the laja so this is the one you know where i'm gonna really showcase what she is how i'm putting her into this team like i said if you're interested watch that it does break down i do try to break down the boss the skills you know, some of the ways to go about building your own team. Um, so I think it's very valuable. But Delaja here, you can see, we've got her in that, you know, 244, that 240, you know, it's kind of like the 244 to 250 speed window that we want here, uh, or 249, I should say. And she's right in that with, you know, 56k HP, 3800 defense, so tanky, and 4, 450 accuracy. Now, Delaja gets a lot of attacks, a lot of attacks. So uh, definitely putting something like War Master, I found to be helpful just to take down damage as much as possible. But otherwise, we're going support tree. I did take Master Hexer to extend some of the debuffs. Same thing with Sniper to land more poisons, right? I think that's helpful. Not necessary, but I found it to be helpful. I also have Delasha in a toxic set. Again, I want poisons up as much as possible. It activates Venom Age's abilities, and just landing more poisons is more and more helpful, right? So that is one of the things I did. But yeah, definitely not an easy build per se, but she can definitely do some amazing work. Now, interesting stuff with her kit, right? I want to point out one important thing that you're going to see in the run here. First off, the decrease attack. We need to make sure that she's landing this before the the boss transforms from the base ability to the second to the alternate form, right? The reason why, because of Master Hexer, we want to make sure that we want to make sure when transforming from the alternate to the base form that there's no extraneous debuffs on the boss because everyone is going to just add more turn meter and also going to possibly trigger the A3 ability with the stun activating instead of the A2, which is what we want. The other part here is that because and because this can extend, it's hard to time that out. So it's important that we use this on the first when transforming from the base to the alternate form instead. The other thing I want to point out is this A3 with the continuous heal in the shield buff. This is actually a really interesting ability because one of the things that we can do is by having these on our team, um, they can actually get triggered to activate on the when when going from the base form to the to the alternate form. It can trigger the activation of the A2 and A3 ability in the alternate form of the boss. And so this is actually helpful because by triggering those skills. They're not strong enough damage dealing to kill us, but they do put the Eclipse cooldown at the perfect two-turn duration for Venom Age to use their abilities. So that's definitely something that I enjoy. Just a little extra healing and protection as well. Um, and so definitely something that you'll see in the run can be useful for us. Now, sometimes we are able to activate those eight, those alternate abilities from the boss. Sometimes we're not. It's a little bit frustrating, honestly, um, because it does seem to kind of happen on its own time. But regardless of what it is, we are able to adjust with it um, because we do have the decreased attack ability for Delaja. So you can kind of approach it either way, whether you want to try to activate those skills or not. That said, let's show the run. We'll jump in here. You guys can see how it goes. 
Um, it's a little bit long, so we'll, you know, I'll, I'll kind of walk through part of it and then we'll probably speed up towards the end. Are you still not subscribed to my channel? What are you doing? Take a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video that I put out there. It's the easiest way to support my channel and over half of you aren't doing it. Get at it. All right, here we are back into it. Now, one of the things is I do have on Delaja Master Hexer, which extends the duration of debuffs. Part of what that means is I actually need to be pretty careful about timing some of the skills, specifically the decrease attack. Because when, when Amius is in the base form and d goes to the alternate form, fine. Return duration on that, great. That's, not a, that's, that's definitely not a bad thing, right? But when he goes from his alternate form to back to his base form, I can actually be, be kind of cause some issues for us um, because if that decrease attack is up on that switch, it'll force him to use that skill that he just used there, the stun ability, and that'll that's that's problematic for us, right? Not what we want. So I need to make sure that I'm using his skill first, um, and I need to save Venomage's skill for later. So this is the one the one thing I need to be very you know kind of conscious of. So we're going to wait until we're down to a one turn cooldown with this ability here. Um, and then when we are, we'll go ahead and use it. I'm going to wait on Wode's ability as well. I like having an extra buff to make sure that we can get some uh, extra damage reduction when we are in the other form here. Uh, I think we want to put up the heal reduction if we can. Yep, there we go. Uh, and then here we go with the decrease attack. You can see it went for three turns. I don't know if you can see that right there, but three turn duration on that. We're going to heal up here with Woad. You can see we're all full health again, which is great. And then Amius transforms. Boom. We take that hit. Look, didn't even do half damage to us. It's actually pretty impressive right there, I would say. Uh, we can add more poisons. Boom. Right. If we want to, we can add decreased defense and another decreased attack. Great. Uh, add more poisons. Perfect. Wode can go to town there. Excellent. And we were able to survive that second hit, which is great for us. That's actually really, really nice to be able to do that. It sets us up with a two turn duration on that eclipse, which is exactly what we want. We can use the big hit there. And now we can come in with the heal reduction from Venomage. Perfectly sets us up, which is key. They're going to kill Cold Heart. That's not an issue for us, right? Because, again, we have the heal reduction up already when the form swaps over. Boom, there we go. And they're still low on HP. This is exactly how, exactly how we want this to go. Like, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now here, I'm going to block the stun. This is going to allow us to continue to put up more debuffs, which is exactly what we want to do. More poisons, I should say. Um, that's what we want to do. And then uh, Wode's not going to go just yet. We're going to go ahead and revive Cold Heart right there. Perfect. Um, at this point, a one. Again, we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, I could use... No, I, you know what? We can go ahead and use the continuous heal ability. A little bit extra shield won't hurt us, I don't think. Heal reduction. Perfect. Exactly what we want. Now Wode can heal everybody. There's one turn left. That means we'll have the debuff going forward. Boom, boom. Because, you know, uh, reflect damage doesn't get stolen, doesn't get transferred, doesn't get, you know, changed in any way. So it's a really good one for us to have there. Get that decreased attack. Remember, one turn left on that passive. Perfect timing on that. Re-up the heal reduction for more damage mitigation from Venomage. Now, he did go into some of his rotation because we had a couple buffs. There's continuous heal out there that got transformed, right? That is, you know, one of those things we got to be a little bit careful of. But again, that's okay. We're down to a two turn duration with the Eclipse. That's where we want to be. So it's not the worst thing in the world as long as Venomage gets a chance to place that heal reduction, which should happen right now. Boom, exactly just like we want. So whether we, regardless of what skills get used by Amius, it's gonna work out for us if we have Venomage timed right. Um, and that's kind of the big, big thing with this. And so far, so far, so good. So there we go. We make sure not to add any more debuffs to the bar. There's no healing going on. Kind of A1-ing through, hopefully adding more poisons. Excellent. And this is the this is the approach. Nice and simple. Now we can get the heal reduction on there. We can revive Wode. Uh, 
Venom Mage can do their thing. We can actually do a little. Uh, yeah, we can do a little. We can do the healing with uh, with uh, with uh, Delaja again. I don't think that's a problem. Um, and even with some of these buffs, right? We've got the strength in. We've got the block debuffs. Even having some of those out there isn't going to be the worst thing in the world, um, because as we saw before, if we swap forms, that's not a bad thing, right? If, when he swaps forms, if he uses his skills, not a bad thing. It actually sets us up in really good stead uh, to be able to use what we want to use. And there we go. Get that reflect damage up. Not only will it do some damage for us, but it will help mitigate some damage due to Pythion. So there you go, right? Uses the A3. It's okay that, you know, we came through there. Venom H just kind of kind of jumped on in and was like, oh, not a problem. And then uses A2. Again, not an issue there. Jump through. Everybody's going to use their skills. Get some heal reduction going. Make sure that's up. We can, uh, we don't use that. A1. Venom Age comes in, gets the heal reduction for three turns on. That's the big thing. Adding poisons. Boom. Cold Heart goes down, swaps forms, but there's no healing. That's the big thing. So it doesn't matter which forms, which skills Amius chooses. It's sometimes, and on, I mean, honestly, it's kind of better when Amius goes in this pattern, right? When he actually uses his skills, it's a little bit easier to predict, it's a little bit easier to get Venom Age to do their thing. And we really only run the risk of having one champion die as opposed to having multiples go down when, you know, when the A1 gets used first. So it's kind of a preferred approach, to be honest. Um, so, you know, having Delaja in here actually kind of makes us a little bit smoother if we time the skills out the way we want to. Uh, so it's not 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 too shabby here. Uh, yeah, we can get some healing up. Boom. And we're always constantly going back to full health, which is delightful, I think. Um, there we go. Boom, boom. And get the decreased attack going. Perfect. Bedlam. A2. Easy. Breezy, guys. So simple here. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead... Boom, big hit. We're gonna get the heal reduction from Venom Age here in just a second. Right, there it is. Boom, heal reduction just as planned. Get those poisons going from the Laja. Doesn't matter that Cold Heart goes down. Come back around. And we're good to go again. Simple, easy breezy. This is a beautiful cover girl. That's what we have going on right now, guys. <laughs> Uh, nice and simple here. There you go. More poisons. Don't need to heal. We're almost there. We're probably going to have to swap forms, though, so I need to be a little bit careful of not doing too much damage, which is an odd, odd spot to be in, but we want to be careful about that for sure. Um, and see, here we got a little bit of an issue, right? We got, we're probably going to be, he's probably going to jump back into his A1 form. I do need to get decreased attack out. I could conceivably have venom age do it actually probably not a bad way to do that now that i think about it so we're gonna do that we're gonna use the healing here you're gonna get the heal reduction there oh no no heal reduction that's bad actually that could be a problem uh a1 boom, boom. all right we do need to get that decrease defense decrease attack there we go the decrease attack is crucial just to make sure we survive these hits, right? Um, so there we go. We were able to survive it. Two turns left on the Eclipse. We get the heal reduction. Boom. Perfect timing on that. Maybe not perfect timing, but timing worked on that, uh, which is what we wanted. Uh, I don't know that I want to add... Oh, yeah, we can do that, actually. Boom. Another poison. Excellent. Cold Heart does put a decrease accuracy, and I don't want that to trigger anything, but I don't think that's going to be an issue there. All right, went down, not a problem. Come back here, boom. Now it's our time to finish off this boss. We kind of want to do that ASAP if we can, which is going to be a little tricky. We don't, this is one of the issues. We don't do crazy damage with this team. So getting getting the boss's damage to a reasonable level is a little bit trickier. Also getting, the boss seems to be getting a lot of turn meter. <coughs> so timing stuff like a revive is getting a little bit trickier than it was before. This is where it gets, this is where it can get a little bit dicey, right? Um, and so that's one of the things we got to be very, very, very careful of. All right, but we did get the revive, Cold Heart. 
Perfect. Um, we're going to go ahead and place a decrease attack. Uh, we're going to go ahead and heal up. Heal reduction. Nope, didn't get that. Okay. All right, get the heal there. Wood. Wood painted hits hard, surprisingly hard. Uh, boom. Okay, we survived. So you can see how much how much health there is. We need to not burn that down. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be I think maybe impossible. Now that I think about it, might not be possible. Truth be told. Um, but okay, heal reduction. And poisons. Another poison. Yep, he died and revived. Ah, oh, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, such is how it is sometimes. Can't always do everything that we want, but we were able to kind of get where we needed to get to, I think, in the end. And that's the key. Um, I think he's going to use his A2. Yep, boom. As expected, there. Boom, here. I can't revive anybody yet. Not a problem. Not a big problem, I should say. Um, I want to revive before I heal. That's always a big thing. Uh, there we go. Got the revive. Oh, boy. This is problematic. We got all the way down here, and now we're in trouble. Not ideal. Right, lose one, revive, um, expected, was expected, lock the bus, boom, A1, boom, revive, old team, please, heal reduction, thank you, A1, decrease attack, heal, all right, and we're back. That was tricky. We almost didn't make it in time. The revive is coming a little bit late for Pytheon. One of the issues when you get knocked off kilter. We might have to go. We might have to go a cycle without getting a full revive of Cold Heart. Be less than ideal, but we can do it if we need to. Uh, great. Good. Do a full cleanse and heal right here as well. Because he's only got the A1, I don't have to worry about these buffs being stolen or stripped. It would make us vulnerable for the stun, which would be a little bit annoying. But if we cannot die, that actually might be a preferable alternative. Truth be told. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can't do that. Um, well, she died anyway. Oh, right. And then the eight. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Sometimes we make mistakes. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, guys. Sometimes mistakes are made. A few moments later. Right, back on track. All right, we're back on track. I think we're going to be in good shape. We went to the A1. Fine. Uh, reactivate the decrease attack. Reactivate the heal reduction. Oh, boy, didn't do that. More poisons? No. Okay. Okay. Boom. Pull darts down. Come back. Survive. Woo! All right. That was big. That was big. Massive, one would say. I would say. I would say that was massive. All right. We're going to protect ourselves here. Heal reduction and poisons. Good. More poisons. Good. Uh... Heal? I think we do want to heal. And we're going to heal. I was a little afraid Delaja might die. Although we have a revive available, but I need Delaja to survive. Oh, she died anyway. Great. Great, great. All right. Revive. Ah, we're in the base form. Okay. Victory. Cold heart. Can you do it? Oh, why the stun? No. We did it. All right. There it is. Yay. Woo. Woo. Just took a little bit of time. But it's doable. It's doable. That's the thing. It's doable. Definitely that was bad RNG with a lot of that stuff. But it's definitely definitely a functional and viable approach to things, right? And we had to kill it twice. We killed it twice. 
So, um, but yeah, Delage is definitely a, a usable champion here. Uh, definitely usable instead of Pythion, or instead of Nishak, I should say. So, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. There are viable alternatives and ways to go about doing this. Now, every account's going to be a little bit different. You know, there's more than a few factors in here. The blessings you have on your champions is a big part of that. Um, that does mitigate a lot of damage, making sure your higher blessing champions are the ones that are getting targeted by any A1s that are happening. Um, you can also see how sometimes forcing the A1 is good. Sometimes forcing the A3 and A2 in the alternate form are good, right? It definitely depends on, you know, your approach and timing. But the timing is the big part. Getting those heal reductions at the right time is really, really important and challenging to be able to do. Um, and so being able, you know, ensuring that, I would say, is kind of is the biggest trick that you can, you know, can deal with here. One of the ways, you know, you don't necessarily need Venomage either. Um, one of the things I want to, you know, kind of point out is that heal reduction. We want an extra turn of it when Amy is transformed from the alternate to the base form. If you can get the Eclipse down to a one turn cooldown, you can then use a two turn heal reduction duration and have that same effect, right? Um, so it's, you know, there is, there are variations as far as ways to go about doing this. So if you wanted to use somebody else, you could make that work. You just have to time the skills appropriately to make it work, right? And that's kind of the trick to doing that. I'll try and see if I can't build a team that can do that for you guys and showcase that as well, but that's for another day. Anyway, I just want to say thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully this is helping you guys figure out different ways to approach Amius, uh, the the Lunar Archon, because it's kind of a fun boss. All right. Till next we meet, guys. Oh, yeah, hit that like button so other people can see these videos. I think that's... If you're finding it helpful... Let others know so that they can find it helpful as well. It's just, you know, passing it along. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around. So next we meet on the Deadwood Jedi.